so um, I had the pleasure of speaking to a group of um, students who serve as mentors on campus here at Berkeley, and imposter syndrome came up so much, um, more than I expected. Um, and so I wanted to touch on imposter syndrome. For those of you that have not heard of this, this is the feeling of not being qualified for whatever it is that you've been hired to do. So oftentimes imposter syndrome can be exacerbated by microaggressions, meaning things that people say overtly or mm, inadvertently that may reflect their opinion of your, your performance. They may think that you don't deserve to be there or that you haven't met certain qualifications for your job. And that can come out in a myriad of ways, right? Excluding you from opportunities for which you are rightfully meant to be a part of because of your expertise or by outright telling you that you got your job because of X, Y, Z identity. This can actually exacerbate imposter syndrome, but I'm about to debunk that at this moment. First of all, to combat imposter syndrome, I recommend that people establish a strong internal locus of control, a strong internal set of benchmarks for success, okay? It's important for you to identify what's important to you and what you think is the optimal level of success for your career. Because if you haven't established that, anything anyone says surrounding what you do is going to hurt your feelings. So if you've established what you think your metrics for success are at your career stage, you can easily tune out negative, unconstructive feedback. Now, I'm going to break down what's negative and what's unconstructive in just a second, but let me get through these internalized benchmarks, okay? When you hear something that's microaggressive about you, your career, your qualifications, um, I'd like for you to do one thing, and that's ask yourself a series of questions, okay? The first question is, is what they're saying true? Is it true? Do you believe what they're saying about you? If the answer is no, then likely what that person is saying to you is a microaggression. Likely what that person is saying to you is a projection of their own insecurities. In order for you to answer that question, you'll have to know deep down what your strengths and weaknesses are, okay? All right, the next question that you may wanna ask yourself is, does the person who's evaluating you, judging you, do you know them and do they know you? Has this person spent a significant amount of time getting to know who you are, getting to know your journey and getting to know your strengths and weaknesses? Therefore, put the onus back on that person to establish cred credibility in judging you. So if this person has no credibility in their ability to judge you, you may wanna ignore the microaggression. OK, and don't let that don't let yourself internalize feedback from people that really have no basis or a reference for evaluating your success. Right. That goes back to having your own locus of control, your own standard of um, success. And number three, ask yourself, has this person actually invested in my professional success? OK. A lot of times you get one-off comments from people that you work with, whatever, and they've really never sat down with you to talk about your trajectory. They've never sat down to tell you how they truly feel about your work. They've never sat down to talk about how you can um, strategize and improve your, uh, your career trajectory. And so what that indicates is that the person really doesn't have a vested interest in your success and they have not invested in you. So how eager should, a per should you be to take advice from someone like that? Not at all. You need to take that advice with a grain of salt, okay? I, in particular, I, I don't listen to people who have not made a clear effort to constructively 
contribute to the, the positive trajectory for my success. Okay. If you know that in your mind, these, these are the metrics that you want to meet in order to be the best academic, the best uh, research PI, the best industry professional that you want to be, that it truly doesn't matter what other people think. It only matters what people who evaluate you for a living think and people that have invested in your success.